Hello, Talking Fight fans around the world. Welcome to another episode of Knuckle Up with Mike Orr at four. Here we are in the studio. Nice warm day here in Toronto for us. I don't know where you are in the world, but wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day just like us because they opened up the patios for us today. Oh, wow. Things are changing. Oh, Things are changing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> some, some of us are not, however, sitting on patios. Some of us are working yes. for you. And it's yes. Female Friday. And who do you have for us today, Mike? You know, I have I have a great story that I found here. Um, the girl's name is Ramla Ali. She any relation? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, she's a Somali professional boxer, model, author, and racial equality activist. Nice. She is the first female Somali boxer in history to compete professionally. As an amateur, she won the 2015 Novice National Championships in England. In 2016, England Boxing Elite National Champions Championship, 2016, the Great Britain Championship, and the 2019 African Zone Featherweight title. She is the first male or female to have won the African Boxing title in an international gold medals while representing Somalia. This girl, she's 3-0 right now. She is signed to Matchroom and has a, uh, another deal going with Anthony Joshua. So Joshua has a promotions company. She's part of that as well as Matchroom. The best part is, is she's got him to turn to for any sort of advice. The heavyweight champ of the world. What, what better guy to have in your corner? This girl escaped, escaped civil war in her country. You know, went to Kenya, eventually came to the UK. This girl is on covers of Vogue. She has deals with Coach Chanel. Um, you know the top, the top, top brands, man. Top brands, and she's modeling for all these people. Wow. Um, it's 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 incredible the the what she's done, man. She's a, like English boxing title, you know, African Zone featherweight champion. She's got modeling career. She's an author, and you know, an activist. Like what a great story this girl has, and she's come from nothing. She came from civil war. You know, her brother was killed at the age of twelve. She's watched her family die. She's you know, had to hide the fact that she wanted to compete in this sport from her family because of, you know, the fear of being disowned, but now they fully support her. And you know what, man, she's, she couldn't have done anything. You know, she couldn't have got with anybody better, man. Matchroom boxing, Eddie Hearn picked this girl up. You know, she's got Anthony Joshua there for tutelage as well. It's, it's an amazing story, you know, and, and guys, she's last fight. I think it was March 29th was her last fight. We'll see her again this year. I know that because, you know, Eddie Hearn and the whole new deal with DAZN and he wants to have many, many events, uh, you know, throughout the year. I believe he says he wants about 16 a year or something like that. So we're definitely going to see her soon on a card. I can't wait. She's, uh, you know, featherweight. She's ranked first in Somalia. She's orthodox. She's 5'7", you know, and, you know, she's 3-0, man. No knockouts, though, but she's 3-0. She's ranked 32nd out of 128 in the world. And guys, this this girl, man, you can't stop her. You know, with all she's been through and all the crap that she's had in her life, and you know the fact that she's you know escaped civil war and immigrated and, and became a refugee and and has turned that into a professional boxing career, a modeling career, becoming an activist, and you know and an author. What a great story, man! And and these are the kind of women that we. We like to represent, man, because we like to get behind these women because they're really showing that, you know, they're in this, they're, they're in this, man, all the way, 100%. She puts it in 100% every time and everything she does. What a what a wonderful representation for the female sport. Ram Ali, what, what more can I say? Guys, go out and Google her, read her story. You know, you'll be impressed. There's lots of articles on, on her story and you know what? It impressed the hell out of me. So, guys, I had to, I had to bring it to your attention, man. That's what I had to do. Well done, Mike Orr at four. Yeah, man. That's it, right? So, guys, like I said, go out, check her out, Ramla Ali. View it, like it, share it, love her, follow her, get behind her. Jab that like, hook, subscribe, knock me out those comments. We'll see you tonight on the Friday Night Panel. You will indeed. Yes, you will. Thank you very much. We'll see Love you tomorrow. Guys. Adios. Peace. I guess our producer fell asleep. Uh, 
see, he's one of these fortunate guys who's doing his job from the patio right now. Oh, <laughs> lucky bum. That's funny. Maybe somebody should call him and, uh, and have a talk. I guess, he didn't think, I guess he didn't think that the show was only going to be five minutes today. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, uh, in other news. Oh, in other news. Let's talk about it. Clarissa Shields makes oh, yeah. her pro MMA, pro MMA debut last night. Yep. She wins. With, you know, a wonderful, I think it was a knockout or a TKO, but, you know, she, she, she ruled, she ruled that man. She controlled that fight. Great fight to watch. Uh, you know, she showed that, uh, you know, she's, she's done everything she can in boxing. And now I guess we're going to see what she can do in, uh, in MMA. And you know what? She looked good in that ring last night, man. She was, she was the aggressor. She was the pusher. She pushed that pace. And you know what? She she smashed out that girl, man. And you know what? She did it in great fashion. Good for her. Good for her. So I guess we'll try this one more time, right? Maybe our producer is, uh, you know. Maybe he's back. Is, uh, is our producer back with us? Producer, no. are you back? Or did you uh, get kicked out of the bar? <laughs> he's, he's running down the street right now. <laughs> right. Uh, all right. Let's see what happens if we – no, nothing happens if I click that. What if I click this? Oh, it's, it's, it's all good. It's Friday, man. We can, we, we can chat. <laughs> um, so for those people who are uh, with us and listening, uh, as opposed to our producer, uh, tonight we have a special guest on the Friday night panel, a gentleman out of uh, the West Coast of Canada who's promoting shows uh, pre-COVID. He was said he was doing about 30, 40 shows a year. He's uh, ramping back up, though, as the restrictions are being eased, as our producer is finding out. And uh, he'll be joining us on the panel to discuss, you know, if you want to become a promoter, this is what you do. Uh, nice. okay, yeah. right. So we're going to have some really good questions lined up for him. And it'll be a really good chat. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I can't wait. It's going to be exciting. Oh, it looks like our producer's uh, back from uh, probably the, the the water closet. <laughs> and probably sat back down to have another beer. So I guess we can uh, try to sign off now. So knuckle up, fans. Thanks again. Tuning in. It's your boy Mike over four. <laughs>